So we've talked about some of the risks from cannabis, and honestly, they're pretty sparse. Go back and watch that video. Today, we're going to talk about benefits. This is going to be an awesome video, and it's all because of this awesome paper. 2018, this is the paper. If you want to look up research on benefits of cannabis, this is it. The, neuro, uh, the Surgical Neurology International Journal got a paper, a review paper here. It's called The Review of the Neurological Benefits of Phytocannabinoids. Phytocannabinoids. And what's that? Well, that's CBD. That's, you know, compounds that are in cannabis. So let's jump in. Phytocannabinoids, CBD, and THC that's the compound that makes you high, are the most studied extracts from cannabis. In 1980, reported anti-convulsant benefits in seven of eight subjects were reported in medically uncontrolled epilepsy. So that's how this thing got kicked off. People with major seizures. Seven of eight people had awesome benefits. I mean, that's substantial. Since then, neurological applications have been the major focus of reviewed of renewed research. Okay, neurological benefits, such as, well, they list them here. This includes treatment for malignant brain tumors, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, MS, neuropathic pain, nerve pain, and childhood seizure disorders. In addition, psychiatric and mood disorders such as schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, addiction, post-concussion syndrome, and PS, uh, PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, are being studied with phytocannabinoids. This is awesome. So, in other words, if you're wondering, well, what, you know, when when is the when should I try phytocannabinoids or CBD or THC or both or weed, right, marijuana? When should I try it? Well, if you have any of these things. Animal and, animal and human research data on CBD individually is what they're reviewing and in combination with THC. So they're actually finding benefits when you have them both combined and of course CBD by itself. Why? Because CBD is anti-inflammatory. We'll get into it. And that's what they say. They, they emphasize, we emphasize the neuroprotective, anti-inflammatory, and immunomodulatory benefits of phytocannabinoids. That means you're changing your, you're, you're modulating your immune system, you're improving your immune system, which is really important. Um, let's talk about technical details for 10 seconds. Cannabinoids function as retrograde and endogenous uh, messenger, messengers that provide feedback inhibition of both excitatory and inhibitory transmission of brain, in the brain excitatory and inhibitory transmission. So in other words, we don't know exactly, I mean, that's a complicated system. So what scientists do when they find you've got these dual functions that are kind of, um, you know, con uh, <laughs> they're polar opposites, they just say it modulates something. It's a modulator, pretty vague. But what's really cool here, is they talk about the diseases in which activation of basically when where these cannabinoids are beneficial and it's a long list i mean you should look this paper up and look up this list pain inflammation ms autism ptsd obsessive compulsive epilepsy glaucoma schizophrenia cardiovascular disorders stroke cancer amyl als obesity anorexia parkinson's huntington's and insomnia alzheimer's metabolic syndrome Tourette's, anxiety, depression, panic, prion diseases, and psychosis. Psychosis is super interesting, again, because I'm going to talk about genes that increase your risk for psychosis when you're taking cannabis, because that's pretty well studied, and it's not a super big concern, but you definitely want to know which genes, and you want to check your genetics with 23andMe, and you can do that. We'll do another video on that later. So basically, that's the rundown of the list. Again, if you fit any of those, look into this. Um, try it. Self-experiment. Conclusion. Although federal and state laws are inconsistent about the legality of cannabis production, it increasing, its increasingly documented health benefits make it once again relevant in medicine. Now, it's also really interesting. Of course, cannabis has CBD. CBD is super beneficial. 
this paper emphasizes not only is CBD beneficial, but also THC in that combination. But get this, 2015, I've got a paper here in the Biomed Biomedical Research International Journal, and it talks about flax. Why bring up flax? Seems out of left field. Well, let me show you. Flax fiber is the title of this paper. Flax fiber hydrophobic effect extract inhibits human skin cells inflammation. Flax inhibits inflammation and causes remodeling of extracellular matrix and wound closure activation. Complicated long title. What's the point? Well, they say inflammation is the basis of many diseases. We know that with chronic wounds amongst them, right? Um, flax fiber applied as a wound dressing basically helps. And then, then they discovered here that, yeah, it's anti-inflammatory, etc. And it's because the, the, the extract contains CBD. So flax contains CBD. Super interesting. Conclusion, we confirmed the anti-inflammatory and collagen production promotion properties of flax extract are mainly due to the CBD content. So that's interesting because I'm always talking about flax and the problems with the estrogens. And it's funny also because, of course, cannabis, we did a whole video on estrogen with cannabis smoke. Again, not just CBD or cannabis, but just the smoke. And so there's this offsetting effect with flax. It's something to consider. It's important to know. Um, do I love flax? No, because it does have estrogenic properties. Are there situations where flax is excellent? Yes. It has CBD, but hemp has a lot more CBD. Again, look at that list. You know, if you fit one of those health issues, if you if you fall into one of those categories, you've got PTSD, you've got all the you know Alzheimer's, whatever. You know somebody who has that. Try it, or at least look into it. You know, do some research on it. There's a lot of benefits that people are overlooking relating to cannabis. And again, it's not just THC, it's not just CBD, it's THC and CBD combined. <laughs>